If all the water in the ocean vanishes one day, what will we see? If an immaculate, dry ocean floor is in front of us, what are the secrets that you would like to see first? With today's cutting-edge underwater scanning technology, like 3D mapping, we are going to remove the water and see the world's biggest unexplored secrets. We can see submerged ancient cities, where civilizations once lived, underwater mountains that can be even bigger than Mount Everest, but hidden under the water are the marks of terrible underwater disasters. And yes, the real truth of the Bermuda Triangle is also hidden under the sea in our country, a mystery that is probably going to be revealed to everyone this year. So, let's first start from the ocean floor of this part of the Earth. In 2016, a team of scientists in the Gulf of Mexico found some evidence of a massive meteoroid impact under the ocean floor. The scientists started drilling the place and found a layer of melted rock buried in the ground. Its carbon dating shows that the age of this rock is 66 million years, and it was an asteroid that was more than 10 kilometers wide. It hit the ground, its impact created this crater, and from this, the theory emerged that this is the crater that destroyed the entire ecosystem of dinosaurs because to date, not a single dinosaur species has been found in the world that is less than 66 million years old. Today, this crater is 200 kilometers wide and 1 kilometer deep, and to see the rest of the meteoroid that is still hidden deep inside, first, the water of the Gulf of Mexico will have to be removed. As the water recedes, a continental shelf will appear, a hidden land mass that is spread along the cavity. We have to remove these layers one by one. As we remove these layers, we go deeper and deeper in time. We go 66 million years back and reach a place which no living creature has seen for 66 million years. After studying this meteoroid, scientists found out its dimensions, speed, and impact angle. When this chunk of hit this part of the Earth, its speed was faster than 40,000 kilometers per hour. Immediately after the impact, Thousands of tons of stones flew from this crater and scattered in the atmosphere, and from here begins a game of destruction that destroyed the entire ecosystem. Millions of tons of stones that had flown into the atmosphere now start coming down after some time. Due to friction in the atmosphere, these pieces of rock turn into fireballs, and wherever they fall, they start burning everything that comes in their way. All the organisms present within the radius of 1,000 kilometers of this impact had already turned into ghosts. The remaining organisms are buried under these burning rocks, and immediately afterward, the largest sea tsunami to date spews millions of gallons of water out of the sea, triggering gigantic tsunamis that sweep away everything in their path. There are only scenes of destruction everywhere in the air, water, and land. About 11 with an earthquake of 12 magnitude, a tsunami wave of about 1 kilometer high now starts engulfing the entire continent. Animals that were hundreds of miles away from the sea would have heard the sound of the tsunami coming towards them, but would not have been able to see anything. Because after the impact, the sulfur present in the ground evaporates and dissolves in the atmosphere. After which, the sulfur aerosol forms a thick, poisonous sheet and covers the sky. After which the sunlight was no longer able to cross it and reach the ground, due to which the photosynthesis of the plant stops. Slowly, the plants started dying, along with some, the small animals that ate them started dying. And like this, the entire food chain collapses. Slowly, now the temperature of the entire planet starts falling terribly. The average temperature falls to 26 degrees Celsius in a few days, due to which the planet instantly goes into a deep freezing zone, and for the next 16 to 30 years, the Earth remains in this freezing zone. The plants and animals that could withstand these extreme weather pattern changes survived. The game of big animals like dinosaurs was over. But now we are going to leave the Gulf of Mexico. The Bermuda Triangle is situated towards the coast of Peru, where for many years, thousands of ships, planes, boats, and hundreds of other vessels have come and disappeared in this part of the ocean. So come, let's remove its water and see what is there under the Bermuda Triangle, due to which such catastrophic events happen here. But this time we will not go to the surface of the mystery, but below it to understand the geological formations inside the sea, which perhaps hold the secret of this place. The real reason is that when scientists scanned the ocean floors below using advanced sonar mapping and underwater drone tech, they came across a landscape that is not found in any other part of the ocean. In a small region, underwater mountains, trenches, plateaus, and narrow straight lands were formed. They are so geologically diverse that even scientists were surprised. Underwater, Bermuda's tiny islands, Aquali, are the tops of a massive underwater volcanic mountain. This mountain is around 4 kilometers high and stretches to the middle of the Atlantic. But the question arises that where did this mountain come from? Millions of years ago, 
When the Atlantic Ocean was in its formation stage, a megavolcano was active inside the ocean. This volcano continued to spew lava for millions of years. Layers of lava accumulated so much that a new island emerged on the ocean surface, and a gigantic volcanic island emerged. The volcano becomes inactive over time. Wind, rain, and erosion gradually gave shape to the island. Sharp island peaks turned into flat plateaus. Then, when the glaciers begin to melt, sea levels rise dramatically. So much so that the entire plate sinks under the ocean. Only a small portion remains above water, and that is today's Paramuda Islands, but below, the entire slope of an ancient volcano still exists. Filled with nutrients, there developed a huge coral reef system developed, colorful, alive, and dangerous. These coral reefs have destroyed thousands of ships. The printing structures of the reef create a tangled mess inside the ocean, but this is not limited to just Bermuda. Many ships sink in the same way in many reef-surrounded islands of the world, where there is high traffic and uneven ocean floors. This area of the Bermuda Triangle is also only a small part of its total area. But you talk about the deepest secret trench of the Bermuda Triangle. If we virtually remove all the water from this region, then an 8-kilometer deep trench will emerge. The deepest place in the Atlantic. Here, there are vertical cliffs that go straight down for kilometers. A place where human feet have hardly reached to date. This trench was formed due to the tectonic activity when the North American plate started subducting under the Caribbean plate. Then, a crag was formed, which slowly turned into a monster trench. Due to so much death and complex geography, if any ship or plane gets lost here, then finding it becomes almost impossible, and this is not just a theory. Even satellite and geological systems from all over the world failed in searching for aircraft like MH370. Everyone knows how difficult it is to find its wreckage. So, imagine if something gets lost in a zone like the Puerto Rico Trench inside the Bermuda Triangle. Is it even possible to find it? Now, let us move a little further from here. Just think, today we cannot spend even a single moment without the internet. Every minute, people of the world consume approximately 2.5 million GB of data. But do you know about this data? Where does it come from? You might think it comes from a satellite, but the real story is somewhere else the underwater world wide web under the sea. When we extract the motions from here, something comes out that you will not believe your eyes. A cloth network of millions of kilometers long cables. This is the real world wide web. These fiber optic cables send data at the speed of light, and more than 19.8% of the world's data is transferred through these cables. And where do these cables pass through? Through the world's most complex and dangerous routes, like the deep sea floor of the Philippine Sea between Taiwan and the Philippines. This is just so important, understand it like this. These are the digital lifelines of the world's banks, governments, stock exchanges, and social media platforms, but these lifelines are fraught with dangers. Sometimes sea predators cut them, or sometimes whales get entangled in them. Recently, one such shocking incident happened near Northey where a humpback whale got entangled in an internet cable. The rescue team had to cut the cable just to save the whale. For this reason, in some places, engineers have buried the cables in three-meter deep trenches. Inside trenches created by pressurized water jets, giant machines that look like floats scroll on the ocean floors. Quietly maintaining the internet, you scroll through every day. But despite all this, when a 7.1 magnitude earthquake struck in 2006, it shook the canyons of Luzon Strait. This is the same strait through which 19 major internet cables pass that connect Asia to America. After the earthquake, a massive underwater landslide came, which broke all the cables one by one. The internet of the entire Southeast Asia went down. Banks, universities, ATMs, the stock market, everything stopped. Billion dollar deals got frozen. This was the first such moment in the world when a large part of the internet was damaged under the sea, and it took almost three months to restore those broken cables. Imagine a three-month internet blackout in today's fast-paced, digital world, but this. Now, it is just a reminder that the digital world we are living in, its foundation is hidden inside the sea, and every moment another underwater landslide occurs. Another green encounter or another tectonic shift can shake our entire system. When will this next disaster happen? No one knows because there is a monster lurking beneath the ocean. A monster that can tear apart the land, bury cities, and cause the world's most dangerous disaster. Welcome to the Ring of Fire. Earth's most dangerous zone is an invisible belt beneath the Pacific Ocean called the Ring of Fire. More than 19% of the world's earthquakes and their deadly aftershocks tsunamis occur here. The Earth's molten core, 
Above that is the mantle and crust, are formed by tectonic plates. When these plates collide with each other, the earth shakes. When one plate goes beneath the other, it is called subduction, and the subduction zone creates Earth's most intense earthquakes. The earthquakes of the Ring of Fire are not just limited to land. They can even break the floor of the ocean. And when this happens, the water rises in the form of a giant wave, and this is called a tsunami. These tsunamis take everything with them, and sometimes even entire cities of Garbag. In 1983, Indian archaeologists started an underwater survey on the coast of Gujarat. The National Institute of Oceanography discovered some structures underwater through sonar mapping and scuba diving. These structures looked like a planned city. High stone walls, roads, palaces, and a complete well-well-planned city. When the archaeologists explored this place, 30 feet below the sea, they found sandstone blocks and many such carved structures, which indicate that at one time it must have been a part of a busy port city. Radiocarbon dating and material analysis estimated some artifacts to be 9,000 years old. If this is confirmed, it means that Dvarka could be one of the oldest known cities in the world. But the scientific community is still divided. Some say that this could be a 3,000-year-old civilization, while some consider it prehistoric. And this year, in 2025, the Archaeological Survey of India has started the search for Dvarka under a new mission, and its aim is to make a 3D model of the old structures and revive a lost city in digital form. For the last several years, the Western world has been searching for the Atlantic. But perhaps we have India's own Atlantic in front of us, which is coming alive not through mythology, but through archaeology. Dvarka is not just a religious place. It is a symbol of India's ancient maritime genius and a thousand-year-old place hidden in the depths of the ocean, which can bring the history of our civilization in front of the whole world. Till now, we have seen some unique secrets present under the oceans which were hidden for years, but now we will see. Some animal scientists living here discover a new species every two days from these oceans, which no one has seen before. According to marine biologists, more than 2 million marine species live in our oceans, but till now only 40,000 species have been discovered. That means there are still 1,075,000 creatures present under the ocean about which we do not know anything. Whether it is a transparent jellyfish or a glowing octopus, or such creatures that survive near hydrothermal vents at 500 degrees. Yes, this is true, and quite mind-blowing too, but let's understand a little clearly. This happens on the floor of the deep ocean, where superheated water from within the earth flows in. This water sometimes ranges from 400 to 500 degrees Celsius. Consider it a kind of underwater volcano, well, directly at 500 degrees Celsius. No life will survive. But the water around hydrothermal vents has extreme temperature gradients. That means 2 centimeters here and 2 degrees Celsius there. 400 degrees Celsius. But on the side of the vent live some thermophile microorganisms whose names are extremophiles or hyperthermophiles. They survive in water ranging from 80 to 122 degrees, and some microbes even at 121 degrees Celsius. They survive where normal life requires sunlight. They need sulfur and methane. They use chemosynthesis instead of photosynthesis, and food is produced from chemical energy in this process. Many different species of animals are found here. Giant tube worms, blind frames, ghosts, and after seeing them, scientists got the idea that if life can survive even in some of the most extreme conditions of our ocean, then life can survive on other planets in space, where scientists have found proof of deep freezing water. Thank you so much for watching this video.